Hello, I'm Susan Mickey. I'm Professor of Health Psychology and Director of the Centre for Behaviour Change at UCL and based in Torrington Place. The main research area I'm involved with is how to develop more effective interventions to change behaviour and that means understanding behaviour theoretically and also uh, developing methods to systematically design behaviour change interventions, um, both in terms of thinking about how they can have maximum impact with target audiences and also how they can be evaluated so we can learn from them in terms of building our evidence and therefore being in a position to develop more effective interventions. And I work with policymakers and practitioners and all those who use uh, the interventions at the coalface because that's absolutely essential uh, to developing interventions that are going to be usable and useful in their real context and people's everyday lives. Well, I would argue that behaviour is essential in uh, solving pretty well every problem uh, that the human species faces. So, um, in terms of health, it's how do you prevent ill health, how do you help people uh, manage disability, long-term conditions, and also um, how do you get evidence-based practice actually implemented in the health service, so the behaviour of health professionals and others, managers, commissioners, etc. in the health service. Um, if you go beyond that, obviously the whole issue of environmental sustainability uh, human behaviour is absolutely key in terms of how we le lead our lives, uh, from recycling to um, using fuel for transport, etc. And then there's issues of um, conflict, of cohesion, and pretty well, you name the topic and I'll tell you how behaviour is absolutely essential to actually changing um, things for the better. Four years ago, I um, was lucky enough to be awarded a strategic um, grant from the Provost to set up the Centre for Behaviour Change. And the reason I set the centre up is it is very obvious that uh, the problems of understanding and changing behaviour are not going to be solved by any one discipline on their own. Um, a huge need to bring disciplines together, uh, engineering, architecture, um, ethics, uh, IT, uh, psychology, uh, but a whole range of different types of disciplines. And also I'm very passionate about translating academic expertise to those who would find it useful and actually be able to use that expertise, that knowledge, uh, to, to make a difference in society. And uh, we started with two postdocs for three years, um, but have built it up. We have now six members of staff and a really uh, fantastic um, programme of public events, um, of uh, research activities, uh, teaching, training, uh, consultancy. So it's a huge amount of um, fun to run it because there's so many different um, types of people and activities we're bringing together. Uh, but also, I do feel it's, it's making a difference. Um, our events are sold out, uh, we have more than 4,000 on our mailing list. Um, so it's, it's a very satisfying uh, thing to do. And we um, always try and ensure that we are communicating uh, research evidence, but in ways that people can um, understand it and, and take it away and use it. Well, I've um, supervised many PhD students and contributed to uh, undergraduate and postgraduate programmes. But the most exciting thing is that this year we've set up a new MSc in behaviour change, uh, again, multidisciplinary. And uh, we were hoping to limit it to um, 24 people, but uh, 35 people turned up, um, half from over more than half from overseas. Um, and a wonderful uh, range of backgrounds, some people um, high flyers academically, others who've had incredibly interesting uh, jobs. So it's a really um, good group of people and uh, so far so good, they seem to be really enjoying it. But uh, that I think um, we can do a lot with in terms of developing because there's a, a huge uh, interest and need and there's no other course like it in the world as far as we can see.
really follow one's curiosity and one's passions um, and not to feel that one has to be directed into where the money is or what's fashionable at any one moment. But if there are questions that you really want answered, I would definitely go for those. Having said that, um, the world is uh, a demanding place uh, within universities as well as everywhere else. And so I think one does have to balance following one's curiosities and one's passions with having an eye on what is going to be uh, socially useful and uh, what is likely to be um, funded. The other bit of advice I'd say is work with other people and work with other disciplines. Um, collaborations are really productive and one learns so much from working with people from other disciplines who bring other perspectives uh, to the same problem. And another piece of advice I would say is do uh, look for mentors, uh, people who are more senior, um, who are prepared to give you a bit of time uh, to give advice, to listen to you, to support you. I've certainly um, never had a formal mentorship, but I've had uh, mentors, more senior people in my field uh, that I found invaluable. Uh, another piece of advice I'd say is don't just get buried in academia. Sometimes people think, well, I can't afford to give the time to serve on um, committees, for example, NICE or things beyond academia um, or get involved in policy. I would say you can't afford not to. Um, not only a question of the translational aspect, but also a lot of my best work has come from being stimulated by um, having to address real world problems where the answers I bring um, have the possibility of making a big difference. It's not just a question of getting another publication. Um, so I think that engaging with the world out there um, really is stimulating intellectually and academically. I think one of its strongest uh, aspects or uh, an aspect where I think it really um, does well compared to other universities is the multi real commitment to multidisciplinarity. Uh, I think about six, seven years ago, um, the grand challenges uh, were launched in many different areas, so global health, human well-being, uh, cultural interactions, um, technology is expanded into other areas. And these are um, programs of research and thinking that are, are designed to really confront um, big societal problems. And funding um, and support is provided uh, at an institutional level for different disciplines to come together and do pieces of research together or projects um, of various kinds. And certainly that has brought me into contact with a huge range of, of very interesting people. And as an undergraduate, I think that trickles down and um, there's a breadth of perspective uh, that's provided in, in the teaching at UCL at all levels. I love dancing. Maybe that's not surprising. Um, I, I do like tweeting. I am quite an avid uh, Twitterer. And I'd say that um, of my 5,000 followers now, I'd say two thirds of them are probably work, but two thirds of the tweets that I put out are probably about politics and current events. <laughs>